Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at hydrostatics in a measurement device and in this example we're going to be looking at the YouTube manometer. So here's our example. We've got the YouTube manometer here. We've been given all the specific gravities of each of the fluids. There's four fluids here um, and we've been given the height difference uh, between various points in the manometer. We've been find, asked to find the gauge pressure at A and we've been given the reference density which is rho water at 20 degrees Celsius. So you should know that rho water at 20 degrees Celsius is 998 kilograms per meter cubed. So it's that standard number that you should all know. Um, and the first thing we're going to have to do in this example is find the density of each of the fluids. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to call each of the fluids a number. So that's fluid 1, fluid 2, fluid 3, and fluid 4. So I'm going to solve for each row. So row 1 equals SG times uh, the reference density. So you should know the equation, which was in a previous video, of uh, specific gravity. It, it is comparing... Uh, the density of the fluid you're considering with the reference density. We've been given the reference density here. Um, so we simply multiply across the reference density to the specific gravity. So for row 1, our uh, specific gravity was 1. So we've got 1 times 998. So our density for fluid 1 is 998 kilograms per meter cubed. And the same thing for row 2. Specific gravity for row 2 is 1.8. 1 1.8 1 .8 times 998 equals 1,796.4 kilograms per meter cubed. Row 3. Our specific gravity is 0 0.8. So 0.8 times 998 is 798.4 and the last density we need fluid 4 the specific gravity is 14 14 times 998 is 13,972 kilograms per meter cubed so we found all the densities we need and now we need to relate it all back to pressure. So you, you've seen the uh, pressure equation which we derived in one of the previous videos, which is pressure equals PO plus rho GH. 